Hello everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting and welcome to day 22 of By the Well for God's Witness to the Wonder. So in day 22, we're talking about Anna and Anna was a lady in the Bible who was only married for seven years before she was widowed. And then after that, she decided to commit her life to serving in the temple. But being a woman in the temple, she wasn't allowed ever to go past the outer court. So she was, you know, kept back from a lot of the things in the temple as she was serving. However, how amazing must it have been when Jesus was brought to the temple and she was able to see him and she was able to praise and glorify him. Chuck Swindoll writes, she refused to be defined by what she didn't have, fostering no bitterness for what she had not been given, only praising for how much she had. Godliness is a process, a series of choices. There's no such thing as instant insight. In the end, we learn that God does all things well. So as I'm working on this card, I'm thinking of Anna and how she served in a place where she wasn't really seen. And that was completely okay with her. And that is why I decided to do this fun little trick with these alpha dies. I wanted to spell out her name, but also keep her name um, less visible than I normally would. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so anyways, I cut him out and then I make sure to have it lined up. That's why I used that mint tape to hold down the dies straight. And then I'm keeping the letters that I punched out as well. So I'm going to kind of lay them out and make sure I have each letter in its right spot. And then I'm going to pop them up on foam tape. So with this foam tape, you want it really, really thin um, because you don't want to see it um, oozing out of your letters and that is why you want to cut it really tiny and place it as good as possible um, but what's really cool is when you do this it adds a really fun shadow effect and you can see her name in um, certain angles but not necessarily straight on top it does take a little bit of time to get the perfect placement of this foam tape the best way to complete this trick is to have the biggest alpha dies that you can or the widest alpha dies. And that way your placement of the foam tape is much easier. This is the widest one that I had um, that I actually wanted to use. So that is why I use that. Also, if you have any letters that have that center taken out, you can actually put those centers back down with a little bit of glue, which I did do before I took my pictures. Before I even started this process video, I took those purple labels to my typewriter and wrote down as much as possible of that Chuck Swindoll quote. I really liked it, so I kind of had to cut out the middle part of it, but I still get the gist of what he's saying. This fabric came from one of the bow clippies, so I'm just snipping it and then tearing it. And then I will fold it and use my tiny attacher like normal. But since everything else is a little grunged up and nothing is white, um, I am adding a little bit of Distress Ink to that as well to kind of tone it down a little bit. These florals were actually a freebie from scrapbook.com around Halloween and they were all white, black, and orange. And although I do like the white, I wanted to add some purple to it. So I don't have a purple spray because honestly purple isn't my favorite color. And so I decided to take this milled lavender and just rub it as much as possible on the floral and then add a little bit of water. Now it did start kind of, um, not disintegrating the paper but kind of breaking it down and so i had to stop adding the water and it is what it is now everything is ready to be officially put together so i'm just creating those folds and adding a tiny attacher staple to hold that and then i will tuck it in underneath that label i've decided to put the flower on the right hand side it kind of fills in that gap next to the name and then i'll start gluing everything down for this label, I've decided to add some foam tape to the back side of it. That way it doesn't look as wonky as it lays on top of that fabric because that fabric can push it up a little bit and make it look weird. Um, so the foam tape kind of helps with that since you're adding another layer on top. I'll be adding a good amount of glue down to hold that floral. It does have a little bit of weight to it with all those beads. And then I did want to make sure to add day 22 to this card since I've added a day for every single one of these cards. 
And so I'm grabbing these purple tile alphas. Now there wasn't a ton of purple in this kit, but I'm so glad that they decided to add these purple tile alphas because now I have something perfect to match this card. I'll take my Micron pen and add a little border to each one of these little stickers. That way it doesn't get as lost in the background. And then this card will be complete. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you click that bell notification button, you'll be notified every time I release a new video. If you haven't followed me over on Instagram yet, my name over there is the same, Wonderfully Made Handcrafting. And if you want to know what I used for today's video, I'll link it all below in the description. If you haven't seen Day 21 yet, I'll link that video next. And I hope you have a wonderful day and Merry Christmas.